For this video, we are at a very special place. We are in Ohio making this Lehman's. Okay, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of homesteading type of stuff, a lot of stuff for the inside type of things, off grid. We're very excited to be here, very excited to share this experience with you. Let's see what they got, buddy. Hey, I'm Justin. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice I'm Glenda with Layman's. Okay, cool. You're going to show us around a little bit, yes, I heard. Yes, I am. Just a real quick 10-second okay. history. Layman's was founded by my father, Jay Layman, who is oh, here. Oh, wow. Um, in 1955, to serve the local Amish and others who live without electricity. Uh, today, through the catalog, the website, and the retail store, we ship old-fashioned but brand-new goods all over the world. And I'm going nice. to show you our retail store here in Kidron, Ohio. Awesome. It's about an hour south of Cleveland and about two hours north of Columbus, right okay. here in Amish country. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, it is Amish country as we were driving. We saw lots of buggies. Yes, <laughs> yes, definitely. So this okay. is the lobby. This is an actual barn from 1849. Oh, you can actually see that it was hand hewn. You can see by the axe marks it was hand hewn. Around the time of the Civil War they started running logs through sawmills which made them very smooth but we like the ones that are pre-Civil War era. This is actually one of four pre-Civil War era structures inside the building. When you tour the store you need to look up on one tour to see all of the antiques, many of which are personal belongings of my father, and then you need to tour it again and look at eye level, and you can see things like this one-of-a-kind Amish hickory rocker made here locally. This is one of the things that I really like about layman. We want you to interact with the product. Oh, we're not yeah. just selling the what, we're selling how to use it, but most importantly, why? Well, so we're totally buying one of those. When we Are get you? Back. Yeah. yeah that's, what that's is it? Good. Oh, the, the, the lawnmower. Mower. Give, give it a push. Oh, where's the real lawnmower, guys? Jonah, give it a try, buddy. We we're gonna do between the real mower and the scythe. That's how we're gonna be mowing our yeah, grass. Yeah, good for that's you. How we're gonna do good it. for oh. you. Let's see you try it, Jonah. I like this one because it's not. Working. Yeah. You're not walking. This will be your job, buddy. There you go. There you go. Now let Josiah try it. That's a that's that one's good no job. joke. That one's heavy duty. That yeah, good really, job, guys. That's okay. What we're gonna have and to then do. when you get the garden ready, you gotta chop the dirt up. Just give that one a push. So what we've done out here is taken our products and made a garden so that you could see if you use our products, this is what you can do. We have the container gardens, we have tomato plants, um, we have the things that the children can interact with, um, we have the chicken touch. We want people to not only know what we sell and how to use it, but why we suggest this kind of lifestyle. So what we've done out here is planted fresh. There's a grill over there in the, in the corner and on nice days we'll make a pizza and we'll walk over to the tomato plant pluck off a tomato, slice it up, and put it on the grill. There are a lot of people, um, perhaps surprisingly to you, that have never interacted with fresh food, have never gone out and plucked something off the vine. Um, sometimes for, for demonstrations in the store, we shut corn, we shell peas, we peel apples, we make cider, just letting people know that you can get incredibly close to your food source, as in walking out in your backyard, picking something, and taking it in to feed it to your family. You ever heard of a chain pump? No. It actually has little buckets and it yes. goes around and so you just crank it. These are hand cranked water pumps. Yeah. Y'all, I want to get one of these. What would you do with this? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just, I would just have it because, you know, we could have it where our well is for when yeah. we just wanted to drink of water yeah. and we're outside. People do it, it doesn't for need livestock. power. I mean, yeah, you don't like need power to You need a big bucket it. of water to go give to yeah. the livestock and you don't you know, want to schlep it you out know, of your house. Maybe we would have just one of these or two of these on the farm where instead of using a frost-free yeah. one, we would just have one of these. I think that would be really yeah. cool. The kids seem to like it. I like it. <laughs> All right, this is actually the second pre-Civil War era barn. It was a log cabin that was supposedly one of the first homes here in Wayne County. And you can see that there are no nails in the structure. The boards were just fit together and presumably there was mud and straw. So this would have been an early settler's home. It's maybe, I don't know, 400 square feet and this is where the whole family would live. 
is the room where we sell stoves and we sell grills and we sell gas refrigerators and by stoves I mean wood heating stoves as well as wood cook stoves. There is also a museum quality display of antiques. Um, there were two stoves made in Ohio, Royal Oak and Florence, and my father is an avid collector of both. So that's why when I talk about looking up, you have to look up and see all of these. A cool little thing. Um, it's a completely heat powered fan. So as, as you set it on top of your stove and as the stove gets warm, the fan spins and blows out the hot air, but there's no electricity, there's no plug in, there's no nothing. It's powered by the heat of the fan. Look at all these wood stoves, guys. What we do here at Layman's is we go very deep vertically into our niche. So if we're going to sell stoves, and we sell lots of them, we're going to sell everything that goes along with them. The pipe, the, the flue, the chimney, the hearth accessories, everything you need to clean it and make sure it keeps in good working order because we want to be the one-stop shop. If you're going to buy a stove, we want you to come here. Do you have any idea what this is? What do you think this is? Any idea? A handle to a stove? Oh, you yes. are correct, sir, because look, you can, it's called a lid lifter. You can pick up that big heavy metal thing. This is so cool. I had, I had a miniature set of this when I was a kid, and I like loved it. It's kind of heavy, but I think you can do it. You Maybe think she's years? excited about the wood cook stuff? Yeah. So cool. I'm going to try it. You can try it. So these are actually made by the Amish, and this is the thing that an Amish person would use. In their house. Yes, in their house. We have some others that are more decorative that they would not use in their home. You're not going to yeah. see that in the Amish no, home, no. right? This, is, this looks like a wood cook stove, but it is a fully oh. modern, functional oven. And this would be for somebody, perhaps they had a bed and breakfast, they had an old style home, and they wanted something that looked old that fashioned, looked but old. they didn't have the wherewithal to cook with wood. Yeah, look at this. Which is pretty laborious. But this is crazy. <laughs> this is like yeah. a regular fridge. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Brown could open that. We can't, we can't get one like this, so he'd be opening it. And then we come around the corner and we get to the real homesteading products like the gas refrigerator, which is a top seller for us. Doesn't look that fancy, but if you don't have electricity and you don't have refrigeration, that's a problem for dairy, it's a problem for meat, it's a problem for some medicines. And so the Amish will often buy two and put them back to back. People put these on boats in RVs, they put them in buses. Uh, just, it gives you electricity without, I mean, it gives you refrigeration without electricity. Right. You want to upgrade your compost toilet back? Yes, oh my these word. are composting toilets. Again, they go on boats, they go in RVs, they go in cabins. Say you bought a cabin on a lake and there's no septic, well you have an outhouse or the woods, or you have a composting toilet. Cool. And, and how they work is, quite frankly, 90% of what goes into it is liquid, and that's yep. evaporated out the back. And then the, the, the solid waste is composted, it is odorless, it is waterless, and it is chemicalless. Nice. Awesome. Her dad's got an avenue for all his antique tool collections. Look at this. Yeah. Try a buggy, guys. Perfect. This is an Amish gentleman who starts out with a solid block of wood and does these fantastic three-dimensional carvings. He doesn't sell them. He says that it would be a job, and it's his hobby. He had them at his home and wanted a place to display them, and we had the space. So if you look at the fantastic detail of these, he starts at the back and carves his way forward. So our joke is I told my father, well, I was gonna do this, but then Paul did it, and so it seemed pointless for yeah. both of us to do it. Can you see that that's three dimensional? That's three dimensions. See, my finger going right past the plow. See, I'm not supposed to touch or touch it. Here, let's see if we can get behind this house. Look at that, boom. So this is what the barn that is now our lobby looked like. So my father, a man of few words, says, uh, I bought something, get in the truck, I want to show it to you. <laughs> so we drive out here and we wanted to expand the store. This was in 2007 and we were looking for a unique way to do it. So basically we moved this piece right here. This is the couple whose family the barn had been in for generations and this is the adult daughters. So they came to our open house and they were just so thrilled to see their family's barn being put back together for thousands of people to enjoy. That's her dad right there. Look guys, remember I told you how they put the barn together? And they, they labeled, so you can picture big trucks coming with all these logs, and every log had a little label on it, and they put it all back together wow. to make the barn. This is one of my favorite 
rooms. This is the housewares room because if you're going to grow your own food, you're going to have to freeze it, chop it, bake it, cook it, or eat it. That's and what this it's about. Room, yeah, this room has everything that you need to do that, including cast iron. I know she's interested in that. So everything from apple peelers to butter churns to noodle makers to um, everything that you could imagine to, to cook with, including this huge assortment of ladles, which shows again how we go very deep burning vertically into our niche, and it's actually positioned on an Amish made drying rack. This ladle? See, yeah, we, need, a, a we ladle. need to get this ladle out by our water pump. Yeah. And then your hand held, your hand we'll just drink pump, out water of it. pump. You could get one a different size for each child. Exactly. You could get this one for Gideon That's and then right. just go all the way up the row. I like it. These water pumps you would have right by your kitchen sink. You didn't turn on the faucet. And it was a, an assortment that a gentleman who had retired had in his facility and just wanted people to be able to enjoy them. So he put them on loan for us. And so that's a very unique collection of kitchen water pumps. Here, this is what you need in your bus. The kids could take a bath in it. Now that's <laughs> that a stainless bowl. steel? Uh, yes, this one is. Oh my gosh. Where's the crazy stainless steel lady? Hey, Miss Stainless Steel. <laughs> I said for a bathtub in the bus. No, I like that. I need that for my popcorn. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> for a snack. Seriously, we need to get one of these. Popcorn party. For popcorn our popcorn party. party. Cause we would have to have two big bowls. We never had enough sure. bowlage for, yeah. uh, for all six of us. Hey, Rebecca, you gotta keep up with us. We can come shop later. We gotta do this tour. I know, I know. I've never seen her. Have you guys seen her so excited in a I long love, time? I love kitchen <laughs> stores. They're like my favorite in the whole world. And this is like the... I can't stop. I have to just put blinders on. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm down here probably three times a week because my office is yeah. off-site. And I can't walk through the place without finding something I, I like. I know. So. Well, there's a couple things that I have on my in my brain list that I'm like, I'm going to need to check on to see if they have it here, yeah. which you yeah. probably do. Um, this is what we call the farm kitchen. So if you want to make your own cider, make your own butter, we have a lot of people that are into food preservation, which is not just canning, but it's freezing, dehydrating, freeze drying, all of that, which is really what people did 200 years ago, because if you didn't grow it, harvest it, and preserve it, you, you starved to death. Yep. This is the personal care room. Lots of homemade soaps. This is one of my personal favorites. Um, there's a woman not far from here that raises goats, milks her own goats, and makes goat's milk soap. And they smell so fantastic. Take a whiff. I, I already mm. smelled them. I actually you smell had them? someone gift me a whole bunch of goat milk soap. Yeah. It's so wonderful. It has a lot of natural emollients. Every time, yeah. every time I shower. Yep. And so we have a lot of um, all natural um, ways to everything from chapped lips to washing dishes to, and a lot of multi purpose, purpose things. I feel like in our homes now we have a different thing to wash your dishes, mm -hmm. different thing to wash your face, different thing to wash your floors, different thing to wash your clothes. And it didn't used to be like that. Yeah. So that's kind of the idea of, of yep. simplifying your life. Right. This was the original store. This this room right here. That was the front door. The building was built in 1915 and my father purchased it in 1955 and it was just a little town hardware store like every small town had. The difference was now over 60 years later dad is still selling some of those very same products that he was selling in 1955. Which like what? Do you aren't. have something in here that you're oh, still sure, right Oh, sure, sure. Some of the oil lamps, uh, okay. some of the ringer washers, some cool. of the wood stoves, some of the copper kettles. So this is the lamp room, which, which here at Layman's, really, we have everything you need to live without electricity for heat, food, light, water. Nice. So this would be the lighting everything. room. Right. And then we actually, this is just opening. Um, we own the Aladdin Lamp Company, and they okay. worked with us to build this museum, um, which in our world is a big deal because these lamps burn so brightly. So prior to the invention of these lamps in the early 1900s, you went to sleep when it got dark and you woke up when it got light. These provided enough light so that you could read your Bible, you could fix your quilt, you could cook, you could mend your tools. And so this is the only one of its kind in the United States is this Aladdin Museum. Your cowbells. For when we get our cow. <laughs> real cowbells. When we go home. Because we did not find a real no, cowbell. No, we didn't have a real cowbell, but this... Genuine, genuine Swiss, Swiss cowbell. Cow oh, look, look at that one. huge. It's huge. That is so cool. Well, that is style. We can get these too, though. We won't buy, we won't buy one yet, but we're going to get I want to get one. this huge one. That's real but style that's, right It's real there. heavy for their now. We're getting water. Mr. Brown, I need some water. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. We aim to please. Oh. And none of these toys take computers. I don't know. Oh, oh. All toys 
that you could just play with. This whole section over here is Amish made. A little country doll girl. This reminds me of Cabbage Patch. Let me show you this. This is something I might like. And there's, oh, look, there's a train. Look, they got travel bingo. We might have to get this. Because as you see things, you flip it. And then when you get four in a row. For sure. This tractor display, that's how the whole toy department got started. One of our associates, Gloria, noticed that Grandpa would come in and want to purchase a tractor for his grandson that was just like his tractor. So once we got the tractors in, then, well, we need girl toys. Well, we need puzzles. We need baby <laughs> toys. We need books. We need outdoor toys. And so that's how the whole room... And then you have a whole in. room filled with toys. Tour is over. Thank you so much for giving us the tour. Oh, you are so uh, welcome. Happy yes. trails. Oh, oh, yes. It was so much fun. And your children are delightful. Bye, so how buddy. do we say this? It's not layman's, is it? It's layman's. 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 Okay. Layman's. Sure. That's Thanks. right. All right. Thank you so much. Thank We're gonna go shop so now. Much. All right. Good. Enjoy. We really appreciate it. They have been very patient. You ready to go shopping? If you, if you behave, we're gonna take you to the toys afterwards. Look at this tiny cup. Wow, <laughs> a little tin cup. Hey, and look, stainless steel plates, crazy stainless steel lady. I got some. Oh, you did, you got, got some. Soup plates is what they're called. Nice. That will be multi-purpose. We can use them as plates and as bowls. Oh, you got that too? Good job, buddy. Look at this giant cup. Oh my gosh. Put that to your head. <laughs> Mom, we got your coffee cup. I know, I love a big cup. A waffle iron for putting it over the fire. Hey, I found you another insulator for our handle. You want orange or yellow? Um, no, no, I have blue. Look at this tiny fan. Oh my gosh, look how tiny that is. <laughs> look at this old. Washing machine, old Maytag. It's a really nice stainless steel picture. Mm -hmm. Picture, I don't need it though on the bus, but it's gonna be there for when we're off the bus, that's for sure. What is that? This is a coffee grinder. Ooh. So we would put the coffee in there and grind it. <laughs> You're being a silly boy. Hey Mr. Brown, there's my kind of tricycle. No, that my tractor. That's your kind of tricycle? Yeah. Get the kids a bit of travel bingo. You want that tractor? Yeah. How about this one? That one's a little big. That one's a little big for the bus. How about this one? Um, that one's perfect. Um, and it comes with two. Okay? Um, yeah. An ATV and a tractor. You carry it? Yeah. Okay. I like that tractor. You bought a tractor? Let me see it. Let me see it. Look. Oh boy. Yeah. M, that one, and I got it because it had these. Two oh. on all four. It's got a lot of wheels. This one? Did you get that? You gonna get that one? Let's go. Is um, it a truck and trailer and horses? Can the horses go in it? Yes. Or would you rather get the, the one with the cows, where the cows go in it and you have a tractor? Hey, show us what you got, honey. Oh, you can do this in the bus as we drive. Stickers and magnets. Cool. Drying racks. This will be great for our journeys because there are times when we're parked that we just need to dry something like uh, towels. Towels, bathing suits, yep. stuff like that. If we want to do a wash but don't want to do a dry. Here we go. But, I don't know how to make it work. Right here. This clips on something, probably. Hmm. Oh, there it is. But that's kind of small. What about that one? Oh, wow. Then you just stick out what you need. That's cool. Because then, yeah, if you only need to hang two things, you just put two out. I like it. Yeah. You like that one? Yeah. Cool. Let's do it. Which of these beeswax candles do you think Granny would one. like? This uh oh. Okay, Jonah, which one do you think? I think. Oh, Granny would like this one the best. Let's get this one for my mom. And Mugs for Grandma, grandma. and grandpa. 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 They don't have one that says Big Daddy? Oh. Okay, let's grandma. do it. They'll appreciate it. Yeah. Oh. 
You walked right past them and I saw them earlier. You saw? Remember when I was trying when I'm trying to split firewood with a chisel and hammer? Yeah, I need a hatchet for making kindling. So there's this one and there's this one. There's this one. Which one do you want? There's even I got mine. Like a larger one. I Mama went ahead and got me an early Father's Day present. Thank you very much, Mother. Grand's Force Brooks. Handmade, hand forged hatchet. This is going to be good. This will be something it's so well made. It's got a 20 year warranty. I'll pass it on to you one day. I'll pass it on to you one day. And it's got this guard on the top. We chose this one for the guard because if they miss, it won't break the wooden handle as quickly. We have checked out. Lehman is, Lehman, Lehman's has been fun. If you guys are not in Ohio, they've got an online resource too and a catalog. I'll leave the link for that down below. And I just want to say thank you to Lehman's. They've been amazing with the tour and they gave us a gift and we're just very thankful.